Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Angry Birds Evolution video. Alright, so I promised to do another video regarding leveling up and evolving Ricky, the Red Manes, Redski, where he is. I think somewhere here. So yeah, got mine to level 20 now. I'm gonna do a quick evolution. Alright, so let's have a look at the damage and everything. So 375 damage, freeze for one turn. 4 turn super shot cooldown all right so let's uh let's spend our first 600 evolution materials and evolve this guy for now all right level 40 let's have a look all right so let's level him up to level 40 uh, i am quite lucky to have all these um double XP red birds. So managed to obtain them during the hatch. Bring him up to level 40. Boom. Easy. Where are you? Alright, so 900 evolution materials. So next, uh, his cooldown reduces to 3 turn. Uh, that's a good sign. It's a good sign that he might have a 2 turn super shot cooldown. For a red bird, that's kind of rare. There are not many red birds that have that. My favorite is still Fire Rooster. So yeah, hopefully this guy can compete with Fire Rooster and we'll have a look. Uh, now, let's increase him to level 60. Phew, let's go. 4. 44. This will increase him to 48. 51 Alright, currently at level 54 We have two more So this will make him 57 This will make him 60 Kabam! Just like that We have a red ski hockey bird at level 60 Alright, so the moment that truth that you guys have been waiting for BOOM! Two different evolution paths Let's see which one shall we pick Alright, the left one, we have Blizzard Whirl. Okay, let's try to analyze this carefully and I will give you my feedback and my honest opinion on which one is actually better. Alright, so kicks a pig, turns it into a whirling blizzard. Alright, so that pig becomes a whirling blizzard. All pigs hit by the blizzard will take 195 or damage, be dragged along and frozen into place for one turn once the blizzard stops. Alright, if you notice one thing, the super shot cooldown increases to 4. Now that's a turn off for some people. Uh, definitely, I would say, if you plan to use him uh, on the arena, PvP arena, you don't want to have a 4 turn super shot cooldown bird. If you are only aiming to use a major packers daily challenge and things like that, then it's fine. But if PvP arena is your aim, I don't think this is the evolution path that you should go for. Let's have a look at the other one, the Blizzard Blast. Alright, so kicks a pig, turns it into a whirling blizzard. So all pigs hit by the blizzard will take 975 damage, be drawn inside and then blasted over the battlefield in a frosty explosion that causes 2600 damage to each pig affected. Wow. Wow. Straight off, I can already say based on the description this sounds cooler i like that it has an extra frosty explosion uh, on top of the damage that you're actually dealing this will actually give you much more significant damage and definitely red birds they are all about the damage right all right let's have a let's have a quick analysis one more time and a quick summary so wheeling blizzard uh hit by all pixie hit by the blizzard will take 195 or damage drag along and frozen for one turn. So basically the pig picks there's a chance of you to freeze the picks and they are unable to do anything. So that's a cool uh, feature and ability. I believe it's similar to uh, bombs, the Thunder Dome evolution. So basically you get to trap uh, picks and they cannot attack during that turn. So it's similar just that this one is a freezing effect instead. So the Blizzard Blast doesn't have that. So there's a 975 damage, 
and then they are blasted over and a frosty explosion which hits the peak will cause 2600 damage so this has like two different sources of damage one is the frosty explosion and one comes from the bird himself all right so we are going to go for the blizzard blast i honestly think this is a better option if you want flexibility in pvp arena in major packers daily challenge and in all the dungeon modes uh, blizzard blast should be slightly better slightly on the higher tier side and that's what i'm gonna go for all right let's go Whew. all right so there we go we'll just give this guy a couple of quick super shot totems just to increase his uh blizzard blast rank all right let's see if we can uh do a couple of quick battles maybe we'll get the red manes ricky red manes guy uh show you guys how the super shot actually looks like um he's level 60 so he's like far back here all right replace grandfather frost all right so just do a regular battle not a quick one Boop. haven't done this in a long time so let's go i'm excited all right so i guess i'll just screw up in the first turn just like pretend to miss boom oh my annie missed the shot i'm so bad at this game and then do this oh my cloud missed the shot i'm so bad at this game actually i'm not just trying to and then Matilda like shoot here maybe yeah shoot here oh I only got two bird peaks at, at least I got two eggs right all right this is the moment we've all been waiting for Whew. blizzard blast let's have a look we shall aim at this guy he's level 60 so not expecting a strong damage do you guys see that oh my god the tornado actually hits the other peak and they exploded just like that wow that is crazy i'm going to continue using him later on perhaps in the major packers daily challenge all right let's see if i can uh force that guy to whoa i accidentally hit too much yeah i'll just force that guy to force all my birds to miss their attacks and then we will have a go at it again aim any at the blank space boom all right so what happens if i hit this pig and that pig bounces on the huge one all right it sucks him in whoa that damage is insane that damage is insane considering that my ricky is still level 60 that's not bad like genuinely that's not bad so you sort of need skill uh but i actually like it actually he might be able to compete with fire rooster i honestly think he might be actually be on par if he has two turn cooldown we'll have to look we'll have to look at that later on once we reach level 80. all right let's do the uh major packers daily challenge we will try and see uh how this guy actually performs there's some obstacle right there all right, so we did brought in Chuck as well. Fire Rooster as well. Kabam. All right, we'll try to get the wave where there are a lot of picks together and then we'll stack them up. And I will use Ricky to actually show you his potential perhaps uh, in those situations. All right, this could be one of it. Do this. Oh, wow. Now the reason why I like Fire Rooster so much is because of the area attack. So even though I'm aiming at this guy, the pig beside him would receive like damage as well. So Fire Rooster has that uh, small area hit, which is very good. So this new bird right here, Ricky, does have that element to him as well, but at a slightly different uh, approach. So you gotta like, you know, bounce him, bounce the pigs around, and then there'll be an explosion that bounce the pigs around. 
Alright, let's try these. Kabam. Boom. Whoa. Not bad actually. For a level 60 bird, not bad. Can't wait to prestige this guy. Whew, there's a lot of picks right now. Let's see if we can we can uh, do something like bouncing this pick around. Oh well that that's weird. Where's my damage? Hmm, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Is it like if there's more picks stuck together, the less damage you deal? Uh, what's with that damage? That's kind of lacking compared to the previous ones. Find it kind of odd. All right, let's go. Tornado time. Oh, get thrown a dynamite. Go Chuck, go. Last wave. Alright, let's see. Just gonna obliterate this guy with Cloud. Pull everyone in with Matilda. Alright, let's see how good is this guy. Boop, boop, boop. Tornado around. Alright, slightly lacking in damage. Uh, but it's to be expected. They are all wave 10 picks. They have lots of health lots of attack and my bird is still at level 60 so overall i would give him like a maybe four out of five stars for this particular evolution that i choose right now but that might change later on i would say fire rooster is like five out of five he's like perfect for me this guy is like for me right now right now he's slightly below fire rooster but that might change once I get him to prestige evolution, so yeah, so wait wait for that. Uh, it might take a couple of weeks because prestige totems are so hard to get nowadays. Man, I wish they could make it like easier for you to obtain them. Alright, let's do the Eagle Mountain. Uh, just a quick one. I want to see if I can get lucky. I haven't gotten past floor 30 for the past 2 weeks. So let's see if we can get lucky today. It's the beginning of a new week. I'm usually excited. But yeah, overall, my objective is usually to reach floor 20. And then once I get that uh, 2 star evolved bird, I usually feed it to my 2 star, 5 star birds. You know, that's how it works. A uh, good way to get a couple of quick uh, EXP. So try your best to do that. Boom! Phew. Finally, first capture. Was wondering when are you gonna show up? Alright, that floor. That door is safe again. Can you give me some gems, please? I need some gems. Come on, give me some gems. Oh, finally. Sweet gems. Of course, I gotta pay. Of course. Oh, I should have picked the other one. Please, oh, thank goodness. Please pick, don't be there. Please go away, all right. All right, at least we, we made some progress. Whoa, that's pretty good. Made a couple of gems. Time to exit. Let's see who do we have. Bam, it's Noah. Noah. Alright guys, I guess that's it for the video. We'll end the video here. Uh, stay tuned on the channel for more awesome Angry Birds Evolution content. If you haven't already subscribed, give this video a like. And yeah, let me know which of the Ricky's evolution you like the most. Or which one you actually choose. You can type it down in the comment section below. I'll check them out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.